Hey everyone, Mr. Kishimoto52 here, and today I'm going to show you how to solve a 3x3x2 Rubik's Domino Barrel, or as some people might refer to as the Pi Cube. So let's get started. Before I begin, I know that some of you just want to take the puzzle apart, and that's perfectly okay because it is extremely simple to do so. Just take off a cap um, of both sides actually and there will be a screw where you can take out the screw and there will be a, another cap where it basically holds all these pieces together into a ball core and it's extremely simple so I don't think there's going to be any problem in doing that but let's get down to actually solving the puzzle. The first step in solving the pie cube is to position these edges of the first layer in its correct position. To do that, you're going to need to locate each edge piece, which will only have two colors, obviously, um, containing the black sticker, which will be the first side. So I have green right here. Don't worry about the second, or yeah, don't worry about the yellow row. Just worry about the top one. Uh. Well, we have green here, so let's start with that. You're going to need the regular color scheme. Uh, if you don't know the color scheme, that's alright. It really doesn't matter, actually. It'll just get messed up. And you'll see what I mean. So we have green here. And we could just take the red. Well, the red's already up here. We put the blue up here. And there's one more edge piece. We can put it up here. Now we have the black cross. So the next step is to take these corner pieces and place them on the correct places on the first layer. Now if you just randomly place it in these slots it will not work out and it will be a complete mess. So if you know how a pie cube works it goes from a small sticker or a regular square sticker to a rectangle just as this one right here. So here is already solved. We have a small and a uh, longer piece. And so you, you gotta get these pairs. So what we have is a red sticker. And a red sticker right here that is the long piece that should be right here. Now there's one algorithm to solve this. If you have this piece that needs to go up into this piece. And this algorithm is very simple. All you have to do is make sure this is facing you, not away from you, facing you, and the corner piece right underneath where it should be. And do this algorithm. Right, up, right, up inverted, right. Now, as you can see, I just did a R2 for a right. Well doesn't really matter if you do a right because you can't turn any layers so just refer to as this being the right side so you just do that with all four corner pieces and using that algorithm you can finish off the first layer During your solving of the first layer, you may have noticed that you have no control of the color scheme. Whereas, orange is supposed to be opposite red on the regular Rubik's Cube, and blue opposite green. There may be some cases where it does show up to be uh, the color scheme of a Rubik's Cube, but it is very rare, and it doesn't even matter if you do have the color scheme of a Rubik's Cube on this puzzle. Well, that's out of the way, let's get to the solving of the last layer. You're going to need to permute, or, sorry, orient these corners and permute these edges. And you, you're only going to need two algorithms in total for the whole thing, and it's very simple, very easy to memorize. Uh, it just takes a couple of minutes. So let's get to it. Once you have solved the first side, the yellow side should already be complete, so you do not need to worry about that. 
and the next thing you need to do is find these corner pieces to match up with these corner pieces that are correspondent. In my case, all of them are already lined up, which is kind of rare. So despite my rare conditions, here's a situation that you would normally have. You keep twisting the last layer, and you'll find that two corners are pairing each other and two that are not. Now, while this might be the most common case, you might get two that are paired that are across from each other. Just do the algorithm that I'm about to show you and um, pair them up and do them again. So position the two that are unsolved on the right side and this algorithm will switch these two corners right up right up inverted right front up inverted front up front up inverted now as you can see now you have all the corner pieces lined up and oriented into its correct position. So the last step in solving the pi cube is of course permuting these edge pieces into its correct position. So there's only one algorithm to do that and it's very simple and very easy to memorize as the other ones. So here we go. What you want to do is not mess up this last layer, just look around and see if Switching these two edge pieces will get a pair solved. So, for example, we have red that can be switched with this, these two, in order for this to be solved. This algorithm will switch these two and make this piece into its proper position. Put one in the front, one in the right, and do this algorithm right up right up right up up right up up right up right up inverted right and so as you can see this red that was right here came over here and swapped with the blue in order for this edge piece to be solved. Now essentially that's all you do for all the rest of the pieces. So for example we have this orange edge piece uh, needing to be switched with this edge piece in order for this orange piece to be lined up with this to be solved. So do the algorithm I just showed you for the switching of these two edge pieces right up right up right up up right up up right up right up inverted right and as you can see the the very last part of that algorithm is basically the first algorithm so there's not much to it and the orange piece is now into its proper position. Now you just have these two that are needing to be switched and then the puzzle will be solved. Right, up, right, up, right, up, up, right, up, up, right, up, right, up and red, right. And that's it. That's how you solve a, a pi cube, 3 by 3 by 2 That should be all the cases for the last permutation, but there's one more. If you ever get a case where you want to have this switched with this all the way across, and you don't want to do that algorithm to switch out these two and then bring it out to these, here's the algorithm. It's very easy. You might even already know this. To switch this edge piece to this edge piece. 
right, up, up, right, up, up, right, up, up. And then the cube would be solved. So that's all there is to it in solving the 3x3x2 three by three by Rubik's Domino or the Pi Cube. And hopefully I can uh, post more videos. If you have some requests, go comment down below. Otherwise, that's, that's it. And congratulations if you solve one of these. And let me just say this is the first tutorial um, on YouTube of the Pi Cube. And that's it. The algorithms will be in the description, so have fun.